Hello reptile lovers and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sven. My name is Even. Woody is over there and today we want to talk about a little bit technical stuff. For all of you who are new on this channel, this channel, uh, we started this channel with building a monitor lizard enclosure. The, the, the build time was around about eight months and we documented every step. You can watch all the steps up here in our playlist. And after this, we got this little monitor lizard. It's a Varenus Prasinus. It's a green tree monitor. And we are starting to document his life. And today's video is all about uh, temperature, humidity, UVB, UVA, and stuff like this. And the reason is because we, we have a viewer. Best wishes for goes out to Richard. And he's... He did this card for us. I will show you here. I hope you can see it. This is like a like a tag for our terrarium. And special thanks to Richard again. And and I was uh, showing this card on Instagram and on Facebook. And there were a few uh, people who said, "Oh my God, there are night temperatures." called from 20 to 24 degrees Celsius. So, and the, I think that's not a problem because this is uh, official um, temperature. You can check out in the internet and in different books. So it, de it depends. Some books said 21, 22, but yeah, it's right. It's better to keep it a little bit warmer than too cold. So, and I think Oh, I was thinking about this message because uh, I don't want to get him hurt. So, and I told the people, no, we don't have 20 degrees at night. We have about 20, 22, 23 at night. But to show you all the, all the special uh, 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 measure points in this enclosure, we did this video today. But we have an, another point to talk about. We saw uh, that over 85% of the people who watch our build steps and the life of Kermit, they are not subscribing to our channel. And this is really sad because this is, <laughs> I think this is, this is kind of the payment for the YouTuber. If you see, oh, there's a like and there's a subscriber. We will be happy. We are round about. We have round about 540 or 550 people right now, and we would be happy if we have more people who subscribe to this channel. And especially for this reason, we both are special computer cracks, <laughs> and we we. Uh, built a special uh, security code for this video and all the people who didn't uh, subscribe to this channel will get a black screen in a few seconds and you won't be able to watch this video. Only people who subscribe to this channel can watch this video to the end. So think about it. Okay, and now for all the subscriber, enjoy this video and we see us. And uh, later. Okay, I see. <laughs> you guys cracked my special security code. Okay, you watch the video and see it was a short black screen. Okay. But the next time we both will, will build a better secure code so you won't, you won't be able to watch our videos anymore. So think about to subscribe and now have fun with the video and we see us next week. Every later. Every later. Okay. Bye bye. We see us. Bye. Here are the tools to check the temperature, humidity and the UVB. So I use this uh, temperature gun 
to check the temperature and for checking the UVB I have this solar meter 6.5R I got this from the company Econlux Solar Raptor it's really useful and I think it's the only way to get the perfect UVB ratio so don't buy cheap wish stuff so what is the next thing I have those small computers also from the company Econlux Solar Raptor check the link in the description for all my lightning and technical system see here is 26 degrees where the sensor is and the 78% humidity and now we will check his basking spots I have a basking spot over here with the lamp it's a it's a lamp with heat and UVB over there is just a heat lamp for one of his spots and this is uh, just a, a vapor ball uh, for a good amount of UVA and UVB okay let us check his spots and see what we got for our results okay let's check the temperatures so the overall temperature is right about 26 as I opened the front glass so the humidity is falling down but you see 27 is the overall temperature in here it is dropping down there we will check this so now I will check his three spots so the first one is the mixture of temperature and UV and you can see it's round about 30 degrees over here is lying of his, on his favorite spot you can see it's 30 30 36 up to 40 degrees and down here on this part you can get temperatures up to 45 degrees just on this spot and down here there is 20 24 25 uh, that's the open door and down there 20 32 so he has a nice uh, temperature uh, spectrum he can move from colder side up to a really hot side and he is doing this all the time okay we just talked only about the air temperature but what about the pond temperature hope you can see this it's about 26 degrees so nice and toasty and is given a good amount of humidity now let us check the UVB ratio so you can read about the Varanus Prasinus he has his Ferguson zone and he should be in the Ferguson zone 3 so this is all about between 3 and 4 and 4.5 four and so let us check his basking spot don't remember don't put it like this you have to put the sensor right in the height of his body so I will open this put this down here this would be approximately his height and we have a UVB ratio of 3.4 over here that is the first spot and down here we have ratios from 2.7 3. 4. yes up to 6.8 this is a small small place then it goes down 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 so we have everything from 1.2 up to 5 over here so and he is using this spot over here very often and you can see him flatten out on this spot he's basking the UVB and then he's moving up to his basking spot sometimes on 48 degree so I think the UVB is perfect in here
Okay, let us have a look. <laughs> Kermit is doing his sitting thing. So you see, there are a lot of uh, parameters you have to check. It's the temperature, it's the humidity, it's uh, different temperature zones, UVB, you have to check a lot to get this little guy healthy. So I think it, it, you, you can do or you should do it for every kind of reptile. Um, give him the right amount of UVB, heat, humidity and you will have a nice uh, healthy animal. So you see I checked everything. Yes, you have to get some technical stuff. Yes, and it costs money and it's some, some, uh, the solar meter, for example, isn't, isn't cheap. It's really expensive, but you buy this for your whole life. It's no problem. So, and I think I checked everything here and I, for me, it's, everything is perfect. And if he gets bigger and he will get the whole enclosure, let us have a look. I have the the same the same spots over here. I have the same humidity. I have heat spots over there. He can move down there with 23 degrees. We have up here round about 32. We have heat spots, UVB spots, uh, more humid humid spots. So he can uh, regulate his body like he wants to. Okay, uh, I think. That's the technical part for today. Here is Kermit doing his thing. And if you like this kind of content, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or maybe tips that's really uh, important for us, we really appreciate it. Give us some tips if you think we can do something better. Okay, and I think we see us next week. Bye bye, stay safe. Yes, bye-bye.